found it in the books. I don't know if anyone has, so we're super excited to share this with you today. It appears that there's two toenails growing out of his um, fifth toe here. So right here, it feels like a toenail. You sure? He said it's been growing. Did it just pop up one day and it started growing? It started growing and growing and growing. <laughs> and you've trimmed it several times. With what? And he said it bleeds a lot. It does bleed. There are nerves in there. You can feel it. It's not nail. <laughs> so do you go all the way down to the base of the nail? It moved. Or, yeah. Once I'm a little too far. Oh, <laughs> no worries. Ooh, so what stop we're going to do today <laughs> is um, numb up the toe, and I'm going to remove it entirely. And of course, we're going to send that toe back one minute because there's nothing in there. And I need to know what happens to the lab. It does look like a nail root, um, which we removed toenails. And he's already been, had um, ingrown toenails removed before. So if I do see that it is a nail root, what I'm going to do is go ahead and put some chemical on the root so it doesn't come back. Um, so if it's an in, so if it's, he's had ingrown toenails, so would that be a, an outgrown toenail? Up, and I'll definitely do a follow-up video and let you guys know what it is. <laughs> okay. You can see that nail, and then you can see, it's almost like I can see under it as well. I mean... Well, well we don't like to hear it's been progressively getting larger like over a bow. the year period. And he did not have any trauma to this toe. Here we go, cold spray. A quick little stick. Go to your happy place. <laughs> Are you so excited to get it off? Well, I wish you would have called me months ago. So what made you decide, hey, now's the time? Oh, <laughs> of course. Oh, good grief. I don't blame her. Now, I'm one of them that tend to shy away from doctors. You like the bathroom surgery, huh? So let me guess. Did he cut her in the bed? <laughs> With his second, Aww, his sixth toenail? Eleventh toenail? Okay. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and get this prepped up, so stay tuned, and we'll uh, show you what's up. Okay guys, we are back, it's all prepped up, oh. we're going to go ahead oh. and get digging into this guy here. Nice less. So, this little guy, so what I'm going to do initially is free up the edges of it. <laughs> oh. It feels a little soft, Ooh, you that think? feels hard as a rock. Oh. There's something called an IPK, which is an intractable oh plantar hematoma that can occur. Um, we've seen oh. something <laughs> similar, but not uh, oh. quite as large um, on the bottom of the foot. God, that's just, oh. just basically this It looks like it's, you're catching some meat. That develops in really want a fillet uh, right now. <laughs> oh my God. How deep is that, they buddy? typically don't have. How deep? You can supply those. So that's kind of why I wasn't leaning towards that initially. Okay, we're back. Okay. I'll inspect this guy here. God, I hope that's so numb. What I'm doing is making sure I get the whole thing as much as I can. Uh, uh. Oh, God. It's in the bone. <laughs> oh my god. And he's like totally like. Oh no. That's not good. You wouldn't believe how many family members I have. Oh, okay. I was like, not good. I'm going to come in and pass out. Okay, guys, let's take a closer look. Alright. Hard like nail. It's <sighs> soft. So this is the only soft part. So I don't know. We're gonna send it off. 
typically with a um, she uh, like a K or inclusion cyst or something like this, it wouldn't have this appearance. So we are going to send this to the lab. Uh. And so back here, I'm going to go ahead and cauterize it with some chemical, just because you said it's very vascular. Every time you go to trim it, it bleeds. So I'm going to try to cut off the blood supply to this area. It's going to be a little more tender. It's going to be open for a little bit. But you've got that helix that you're going to use to sprinkle in there to fill it in. So if you look, it's so yellow on top. I, I wonder if the it. nail is actually going uh, down that way. I don't know. Right? Excellent Dr. observation. <laughs> but it looks like it goes... It's, it's... I don't know. It's hard to see the nail for the gaping hole in this foot. Or toe. That silver nitrate? Mm -mm. No? no. And you'll be back in two weeks. Unfortunately, I hear you're cheating on me. I usually don't, uh, typically don't have a clinic on Fridays, but Dr. Carter will be. I've already showed her the first part of the video and what to expect and what it looks like. Get out of it. She'll be doing the, um, <laughs> doing the follow up. Get that vinegar ready. Now, like I said, this oh. may bleed. Oh. Do you have any questions for me? How to take care of this? Okay. Mm -hmm. You got it. Oh. Okay. Mm -hmm. Nope. You're not covering the hole. <laughs> The music helps make it more soothing. And uh, if you need anything over the weekend, please don't oh. hesitate to call. We always have a doctor on call here. But I would imagine if you're going to have some bleeding, like I said, just because it's open. But the good news is, is you're not going to have that spot anymore. <laughs> good. And uh, if I do hear the lab contacts me for any type of, you know, concern for malignancy, I will call you right away. Okay, so if you don't hear from me, that's good news. Hmm. Okay. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching another edition of, this is kind of like, what the heck is it? This is a perfect case for that. It's so we'll um, do a follow-up video in a couple weeks so you and I can find out together what this guy is. All right, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, comment below. If you have something like this on your foot, I'd love to see it. All right, have a good one. The fact that she would love to see it. Hashtag true story. <laughs>